Our circulatory system is designed to provide each of our cells with a type of diffusion exchange practiced by simple unicellular organisms living in aquatic environments. This exchange occurs at the level of the tiniest blood vessels, capillaries, where wastes, nutrients, gases, and hormones are exchanged between the blood and the body cells. With walls only a single cell thick, capillaries are well adapted to their role of exchange. Most nutrients, oxygen, and carbon dioxide diffuse readily through capillary cell membranes. Salts and small charged molecules, including some small proteins, move through fluid-filled spaces within the capillary cell membrane or between adjacent capillary cells. Pressure within capillaries causes a continuous leakage of fluid from the blood plasma into the spaces surrounding the capillaries and adjacent tissues. This fluid, known as interstitial fluid, consists primarily of water in which nutrients, hormones, gases, wastes, and small proteins from the blood are dissolved. The exchange of materials between capillary blood and nearby cells occurs through this interstitial fluid, which bathes nearly all the cells of the body. Capillaries are so narrow that red blood cells must pass through them in single file. Consequently, blood is sure to pass very close to the capillary walls. In addition, capillaries are so numerous that no body cell is more than 100 micrometers or four thousandths of an inch from a capillary. These factors facilitate the exchange of materials by diffusion. It is estimated that the total length of capillaries in a human is over 80,600 kilometers or 50,000 miles. As blood is forced through this narrow, almost endless network of capillaries, the speed of blood flow drops very quickly, further enhancing diffusion by increasing the amount of time available for the blood and cells to exchange materials.